Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to get very proficient with Spanish-style sixth harmonies. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on the A string as our bass note, and we're going to play something like this. Also, non-Spanish style six. Okay. So if you've watched the third harmonies lessons, um, this is almost the same principle. But instead of having adjacent strings being played together, you're playing, you're skipping a string, basically. So you're playing distant strings. And that creates a really strong harmony. So the sixth harmony is basically the third harmony upside down. Okay, and um, if you don't know what that means, it means basically that if you have, okay, E and C, okay, strings one and two on zero and one. Okay, E and C. Okay, if you turn them around, you have C and E. Okay, okay, it's E, but an octave below. So E and C would be a third, but C and E would be a sixth. Okay, if you want to learn more about theory and practically hearing it on the guitar. I have my Break Your Boundaries course program now with 25% off for the summer. So check it out at lickandref.com slash courses, right? I have 14 courses in the program from ear training to fretboard vision to arrangement to intuitive composition to fingerstyle techniques, okay, the fingerstyle technique toolbox, theory unlocked, teaching you all the theory you need to know how to apply it on the guitar as well. Okay, check it out, lickandrev.com slash courses, 25% off for the summer. So, let's go back to sixth harmony. Okay, so um, that's, the, that's the, the similarity in sound, because if you play in this, okay, you're basically playing the same uh, harmonic approach, you're playing um, you're playing a minor and major chord sounds, but it's either very, very close together or distant. So it sounds like two completely different solos going on instead of a harmonized solo. Okay, so um, the Spanish style thirds. Okay, we start with A minor. So it's five and five on strings one and three with the A bass. You can play it together, you can play it apart. Okay, it's really up to you. And if you want to get the Spanish sound, you can play four and four. Okay? Because this is the harmonic minor or the Phrygian sound. Okay, the natural sixth here isn't four and four. Okay, if you want to get the Spanish sound, then you'll play four and four. But we'll talk about the natural scale later. Then you play seven and seven. You have eight and nine. So this is your basic sound. Okay, experiment with it. Okay, you can slide. 
Now, above what you're playing here, you also have 10 and 11 and 12 and 12. Okay? Now, the 10 and 11 are also not in the scale, okay? It's uh, creating the Spanish or classical Spanish sound. starts getting interesting might be a little bit confusing eh, at first but the takeaway here is that you can practically play anything you want okay so if you want to play the natural scale instead of 10 and 11 you'll play 10 and 10 and then it sounds like this So if you alternate between 10 and 10 and 10 and 11, it becomes really interesting. I played 10 and 11 up till now, and then I returned to 10 and 10. The same goes for 4 and 4. If you want to play the natural note, it's going to be 3 and 4. And then you have 1 and 2, okay? And then you have another choice. If you want the natural scale, you'll play 0 and 0. If you want the Spanish sound, you'll play 0 and 1. So let's check out the differences. Zero and zero. Zero and one. Okay, got it? The A bass doesn't really work with that 0 and 1 because it's an E chord. So you can play the E bass if you want. Okay? To emphasize the E chord. Just make sure you mute the A string before that. So that's the Spanish style. Now if you want a more folk oriented style, you can turn to strings two and four. Okay, so if you have, uh, if you want a major, you just play two and two on strings two and four. And then you play, you play three and four, okay, five and six, and seven and seven. Okay, so. Now, if you bar the second fret, you can also hammer on. Okay? But if you want to play A minor, it's one and two on strings two and four, and then three and three, and then five and five, and then six and seven. You can mix minor and major. You see, 
you can play one and two and three and four. Okay, you can play the minor and then borrow from major. Okay, and then it's your choice whether to play five and five or let's say um, six and seven. Okay, so. Hey, something like this. Okay, you can do whatever you want. You can also play five and six. finish off, you also have zero and zero. So have fun. I leave you at that. You go experiment, have fun, and remember you have 25% off of all my courses. Lickandref.com slash courses, go check it out. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye.